Good morning everybody, I'm Carnival Ben and it's the day of Wells Carnival. We're here on the line up this morning, we don't have that many maintenance jobs to do today. Um, everything is working as it should be. We've got to refill the smoke machines for the cannons and replace a few bulbs and that's pretty much all we've got to do today. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm not road crew captain tonight, I am performing on the cart so I'll be dressed up as a pirate. Um, I'll try and get some footage around the route from the point of view of somebody on the cart performing. After the carnival, uh, we drive the cart down to Glastonbury, ready for tomorrow's carnival. And we're in Division 1 in the Glastonbury lineup. Uh, they normally divide it into about four divisions. Uh, they tell you which division to go into just to mix up the order of the carnival a little bit. We're in Division 1, so we should be pretty near the front for Glastonbury. testing the motors uh, to make sure they're all okay. We've noticed that some of the chains are a bit slack on some of them so we're just going to tighten those up. Now, a few people have been asking how the lightning effect works up in the roof. Um, so, up in these clouds in the roof, we've got some high power LED chips. If I put the camera up there, you should be able to just about see them in there. And they're controlled by a custom circuit board. I can show you that now. So you can see here that I've got two custom circuit boards. Um, each one has got eight channels and each channel can be uh, switched on and off independently. Um, you can even dim it to half brightness, quarter brightness, whatever you want. Uh, and all these are controlled by a laptop at the back of the generator. You can see here we've got two network cables going. This is just standard ethernet cables. These two go down to a network switch uh, underneath somewhere um, and are networked back to the back of the generator. But basically the, um, the network cables supply the data to these ethernet transceivers um, and the ethernet transceiver module here 
talks to the microcontroller, which then goes on to control these individual microcontrollers, one for each of the eight channels here, and they're switched on and off by these this set of triacs here. Um, and then this bunch of cables here goes off up to the roof of the carnival float uh, and along and down to each of the individual clouds. Each cloud has got two circuits per cloud. You can you can see one of the LED chips there. Um, these are the, the type of LED chips that have got the onboard power supply. So you power these by 240 volts, which is switched by these modules. On the laptop set up at the back of the generator, that's running a computer program that is constantly telling these modules, there's five of them all through the cart, what brightness each channel should be at any one time. And I've just programmed in a, a lightning flash sequence that is constantly run on repeat. I think it's about a 20 second long sequence that just repeats over and over. And, and that's what makes the lightning work. Four smoke machines all filled up ready for tonight and that's all the maintenance jobs we've got to do so everything's ready to go so a bit later on I'll be off to the football club to get my makeup done costume on and then I'll be back down here ready to get on the car and go around in procession performing on the car <laughs> Nice one, thank you. So, got my makeup done, got my costume on, time to get down to the car, ready for the carnival. So we're now back at the car. Um, it's about 20 minutes before the carnival starts. We're about 10 carts from the start. So, very soon we're gonna get everybody on. I'm gonna get on my platform as well. Um, and then within about 10 minutes, we should be on our way. on my platform on the car I got a good strong harness on so can't really go anywhere but that leaves me to use both hands I can lean out go up and down should be good
So that's the car on its way to Glastonbury. I'm riding riding up in the spare blue lorry. Just gonna follow on behind all the way to Glastonbury. Not sure how long it's gonna take. Got a few carts in front of us. So now just coming into Glastonbury, this is Timbridge Roundabout. We'll turn right here and get into the lineup. We'll overtake quite a few carts. Well, there's not that many carts ahead of us, but we'll overtake a few carts that are in other divisions because we've got to go on ahead into Division 1. So we're going to be pretty close to the front. So we're just driving up through the lineup now, and I think we've come to our our spot in in the lineup. For some reason, the marshals have put us in Division Three. We definitely should be in Division One, so I'm not sure why they've done that. We'll probably find out tomorrow. So that's it. We've arrived. We parked up. All ready for the carnival tomorrow, Glastonbury. It was a really good carnival. It was good to be on the cart for a change and we're all done for tonight. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next video.